Hello people of the world, I'm Giselle and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Harry Potter Howler letter. You'll need a piece of red paper, a piece of white paper, scissors and sticky tape. Depending if you want to write your letter on the card, on the white piece of paper, or you would like to print it out on the paper, that's up to you. Okay, with your red piece of paper, you're going to need to cut it down into a rectangle. And depending on how big you want it, you can choose how much you want to cut off your red piece of paper. out your red piece of paper, you're going to fold it in half. Just like that. Once you've folded the red piece of paper in half, then we're going to take the corner, fold it in half. Like and then once you've done that, we're going to take the other corner and fold it so it is in the middle. Yep. Once you have that, we're going to flip it over. We're going to fold it back so it folds where it can't flip over anymore like that without breaking or ripping. We're going to fold it back out again. We're going to flip it over this way. And then we're going to make lines down like this. just made. Fold it back out again. Now this part is a little bit tricky. So what we're going to do is we have to make sort of uh, kind of like a spring. Kinda. It's going to... We have to just keep playing around with it. So once you've got that shape kind of thing, like that with the crease, we're going to unfold it again. Okay. Now we're going to fold this bit. We're going to unfold it back again. Yeah. Now we've got that nice crease in here.
so now we've got that crease shape like we have all the folds like that we're going to make the top of the letter so pinch it at the top and then we're going to curl the ends a bit give it a bit of a more shape I suppose yep now we're going to sticky tape this back bit down so it doesn't come flapping up So if you don't have double sided tape, which would be great, but I don't, you can just double over normal tape. Okay, now we're going to put that to the side for a minute. Yep. And now we're going to cut out our letter bit with writing on it. So this is going to be a rectangle as well. But make sure you measure it up so we know how much we have to put, how much paper we need to cut to fit in your tower. Okay, now you can either, well, probably now would be a good time to write in your letter, but I'm not going to, because I don't know what I'm going to say, but, okay, we're going to do the teeth now of the hour, so we're going to fold up a little bit on each end, and we're going to just sort of bend it. So it looks a bit like teeth, hopefully. Yeah, we have something that looks like teeth. And now on the other end, the same. Okay, now we're going to stick our letter in. Sort of make the letter creased again so it still folds nicely. Once we've finished that, we are going to add the tongue, because what howler doesn't need a spitting tongue? Okay, scissors of paper you cut off at the start, we're just going to make sort of, kind of a snake tongue. Now we're going to make it a bit curly. Okay. Now we're going to stick it in but then it's to to the middle of the howl. There's
and then we have pretty much a howler. I'm gonna just gonna stick down the teeth here a little bit so it doesn't fall apart at the top. And then once you've finished fixing it up and making sure it's all stuck down, you should be pretty much. And if you want, you can make a address thing and stick it on the back of the howler. Okay, now that's what you should have for your howler. Two came out pretty nicely and now you can go send it off to somebody. It'd be pretty cool if you could have it screaming but unless you can have those voice boxes you can record. I don't know. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and comment on things you might want me to do next because I'm slowly running out of ideas. Goodbye, people of the world.